The landscape of air-to-air -air combat is changing at an astonishing pace. At the forefront of this shift, Russia and China are making significant strides in hypersonic missile technology. The undisputed star of this show is Russia's Kinzhal, a real powerhouse in the arena. It enters the battlefield as a hypersonic titan with a whopping speed of Mach 10 and boasts an impressive range of 1,200 miles. Alongside this, China is not falling behind, pushing the boundaries of innovation with their state-of-the-art PL-15 missiles. However, in the middle of this fast-paced progression, all eyes are focused on the United States, waiting for its next strategic maneuver. As the dynamics of aerial warfare wobble on the brink of transformation, every move from the US could significantly alter the course of this high-stakes game. So stay tuned, as this saga is just getting started. In the high-stakes world of air-to-air -air combat, the United States has long held the upper hand. Supported by the robust arsenal of AIM-120 Advanced Medium-Range Air-to-Air Missiles, or AMRAM, and AIM-9 Sidewinders. These battle-tested weapons have been central to the U.S.'s air dominance since 1991 and 1956, respectively, and have seen several upgrades to keep pace with evolving warfare. However, warfare does not stagnate. It continues to evolve at a rapid clip, necessitating weapons to do the same. The focus has shifted towards compact missile designs that work with advancements in stealth technology and the computational prowess of modern fighter jets. Looming on the horizon are formidable missile technologies from potential adversaries, Russia and China. Russia's R-37 missile, capable of speeds between Mach 5 and 6 and a defective range of up to 250 miles for its R-37M variant, is a force to be reckoned with. Likewise, China's PL-15 missile, with its range of up to 124 miles and highly resistant radar system, potentially outclasses the latest AIM-120D AMRAAM. Both Russia and China are at the forefront of this shift. Russia's KH-47M2 Kinzhal missile and avant-garde boost glide vehicle have astounding capabilities, reaching speeds up to Mach 10 and Mach 20 respectively, drastically outpacing current US capabilities. On the other hand, China's DFZF hypersonic boost glide vehicle can cover a distance of 1,553 miles at extraordinary speeds and is capable of carrying nuclear warheads. These impressive developments, backed by substantial investments from both Russia and China, highlight the escalating competition in hypersonic weaponry among these global powerhouses. Given these strategic challenges, the US has recognized the urgent need for a new generation of air-to-air -air weapons. The commitment is substantial. The USA has funded 70 efforts to develop hypersonic missiles and related technologies between fiscal years 2015 and 2024. These new weapons are expected to be compact yet potent, tailored for stealth fighters and designed to assert dominance over vast skies. The stage is set to see these six airborne titans in action. 1. AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, or JATAM The AIM-260 JATAM, a joint project of Lockheed Martin, the US Air Force, and Navy, is expected to hit targets at greater distances than the AIM-120, matching the performance of advanced Chinese and Russian air-to-air -air missiles. This missile is part of the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, initiative, including the production of at least 1,000 Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. The Air Force's 2024 fiscal year budget request includes approximately $1.5 billion for accelerating the procurement of more AIM-260 JATAMs. AIM-260 is designed to be compatible with F-22 Raptor stealth fighters, as well as F-35 variants. Future CCA drones are also expected to be armed with AIM-260s, extending the reach of the flight group. A special secure storage facility for these weapons is being built at Hill Air Force Base in Utah at a cost of around $6.5 million. The missile is anticipated to have an increased range and possibly include active radar and imaging infrared seekers, along with a two-way data link. Number 2. Long Range Engagement Weapon, or LREW The LREW is a long-range air-to-air missile being developed by Raytheon, 
The program was announced by the Pentagon in 2017. This missile is unique because it is expected to be too large for internal carriage by stealth fighters, and so it would likely be carried under wing by fourth-generation fighters. This design allows for some potential advantages, such as the inclusion of a ramjet propulsion system for a potent mix of speed and range that can't currently be accommodated by an F-35. The LREW is intended for extended-range air-to-air engagements, making it well-suited to target vulnerable enemy systems like AWACS from standoff distances. The modular design allows for upscaling or downscaling of the missile booster, depending on the carrying aircraft's limitations. Number 3. Peregrine Air-to-Air -air Missile the Peregrine is a Raytheon-developed medium-range air-to-air missile, noted for its superior performance and smaller size. Being roughly half the size of an AMRAAM, it allows stealth fighters like the F-35 and F-22 to carry twice as many of these missiles internally, effectively doubling their magazine capacity. This design maintains the stealth characteristics of these aircraft while increasing their threat engagement potential. Number 4. Modular Advanced Missile, or MAM The MAM is a new air-to-air -air missile, or AAM, program under development, with plans for future test launches from a fighter jet, according to the Air Force Research Development Test and Evaluation Appropriations, or RDT&E, budget request for the 2023 fiscal year. However, important details such as the missile's class, seeker type, propulsion, and anticipated performance are not yet known. The term modular in the program name might indicate a design allowing for the interchangeability of boosters, warheads, and seekers, thus adapting the basic missile for various missions and platforms. This modularity is a coveted attribute in AAM design, as it provides adaptability, upgradability, and potential cost and logistics benefits. This feature might also make it possible for the missile to be scaled to fit various aircraft, from F-35 and F-22 fighters to larger future aircraft like the B-21 Raider. Number 5. Lockheed Martin's CUDA The CUDA is a miniaturized, beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile developed by Lockheed Martin. It was promoted extensively in the early 2010s, though its presence in the company's marketing has diminished recently. Despite the decreased publicity, it's understood that the program is likely still active. The CUDA is designed to have a shorter range than the AMRAAM and uses a hit-to-kill design, foregoing a traditional warhead to allow more room for fuel. This design choice emphasizes maneuverability and range over explosive impact. The Air Force Research Laboratory disclosed in 2019 that the Air Force had allocated funding for a flight demonstration program for the missile which was particularly focused on comparing its range and terminal phase maneuverability with the AIM-120D. Number 6. Long Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, or LRAM The LRAM is a concept proposed by Boeing and is currently in an early development stage. The design is a response to a broad area announcement from the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, which was seeking advanced technologies for future long-range air-to-air missiles. The LRAM employs a two-stage configuration with a kill vehicle attached to a booster section. After the booster burns out, it falls away. The LRAM is designed to deliver significant speed, range, and maneuverability, primarily focusing on the boosted propulsion aspect. Boeing's concept design suggests the LRAM's extended range and terminal stage maneuverability are due to the use of a separate kill vehicle, which reduces drag and weight compared to a single-stage weapon. The kill vehicle term might indicate a hit-to-kill design that destroys the target through impact force, optimizing the weapon's fuel capacity and maneuverability, and keeping the overall package relatively small. The LRAM design potentially allows for shorter range engagements, increased internal payload for stealth aircraft, and more flexibility with booster combinations. These six aerial titans underscore the unwavering resolve of the U.S. to defend its skies. No matter the rival's advantages, the U.S. stands ready for battle. These missiles aren't merely weapons, they're a testament to American strategic prowess. So, if you don't want to witness for yourself what these missiles can do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.